so here we are and we have been dealing with inclined plane what happens if an object is rolling down an inclined plane so in the previous two videos we have been discussing like how long will it take to roll down the inclined plane uh, i mean instead of how long it is like uh, with what acceleration it rolls down the inclined plane and with what velocity it reaches the bottom these were the two questions we were focusing on suppose uh, this is the same mass we are talking about if this angle of inclination is theta in the last two videos we have proved that the acceleration with which this mass m rolls down the inclined plane of angle theta a equal to we have been discussing that g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square this is what the acceleration with which it rolls down because both it's a combination of both uh, rotation plus translation when it reaches the bottom at this point it acquired a velocity because initially it rolls that's why the initial velocity was zero at the bottom when it reaches it has acquired it would have acquired a velocity v which will be equal to root over i hope you remember that relation 2gh where h is this height of the incline this is what h is if this height is h then this value will be root over 2gh divided by 1 plus k square by r square but the point is how long will it take to reach the bottom the time t is what we need to know which is very simple for you you know the initial velocity you know the final velocity you know the acceleration with which it rolls down the plane so v is equal to u plus a t because it rolls down the inclined plane u is zero so v is equal to this leaves us with the equation v is equal to a t where v is given by this relation a is by this so the time of fall so let me choose a different color now so the time is equal to based on this uh, v is equal to a t v by a is equal to t so it is v by a v is root over 2 g h it is root over 2 g h divided by 1 plus k square by r square the root is combined for all by a is g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square so let us take further so from here i would like to write that over here t will be equal to root of this one is 2 g h 2 g h by 1 plus k square by r square divided by g sin theta which will be multiplied as 1 plus k square by r square divided by g sin theta when these two goes inside the square root it will be like 2 g h into 1 plus k square by r square whole square by 1 plus k square by r square into g square sin square theta so this and square will be cancelled this g and this square will be cancelled we will end up having t as root over 2h into 1 plus k square by r square divided by g sin square theta so here i would like to ask you to go back and see if you drop a stone it will take a time of root over 2h by g g to reach the bottom from a height h but at the same time if it rolls down the incline it is like 2h by g sin square theta because it rolls down because it if it slides down it will be like 2g by 2h by g into sin square theta but if it rolls down this component 1 plus k square by r square is added so it will be a kind of total understanding thing will happen if you go and check the time of that i mean time of fall from a height time of sliding down on an inclined plane time of rolling down an inclined plane all three so i would be like putting a video on that so before that if you try yourself it will be better